Good day everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from. Alright, so today I want us to look at uh, 2016 Mathematics Paper 1 for GCE candidates. Specifically question 9. Alright, so the question reads, in the diagram below, so this is the diagram, I'm sure you are able to see it. Uh, MP, this from M to P, you are having 13 kilometers, okay? Um, QR, QR is having 60 kilometers and MR is having 24 kilometers. MR is parallel, okay? MR is what? Parallel and equal to TQ. So this simply means that if you have 24 kilometers here from MR, which is parallel, and it's equal to TQ, it simply means that even here, you are going to have 24 kilometers. Because when you look at MRQT, you are having this shape, which is a, a rectangle. Alright? So, uh, we proceed. PMR, PMR, okay? Is equal to what? QRM. Meaning that the angle which is here at M, is equal to the angle which is at R. So you have a 90 degrees here, even here, and 90 degrees. Okay? And TPQ and TPQ, meaning the angle which is right here, is a 75 degrees. So you have to understand this information. Okay? Question 1. Here, yeah, question A, sorry. Find PQT. So we are answering question A right there. They want us to find P, Q, T. So, look at the letter which is on the middle. That is an angle they want you to find. P, Q, T. So, where is our P, Q, T? P, Q, T. Meaning that they want you to find the angle which is right there. Okay? They want you to find the angle which is at Q. So, how are you going to find the angle at Q? Alright? So, what you are going to do is, if uh, we're having this line here, which is cutting this TQ. So if you have a 90 degrees here, it also means that even here, you're going to have a 90 degrees. Not so. So if you consider just this part, PTQ, you can see you're having a right angle to a T, triangle. And the angles, the sum of angles in a triangle is what? 180. If you add... 75 plus 90 plus the angle at Q should have 180. Okay? So what you are going to do is, you are going to get 180 degrees minus, okay? You subtract when you add this 75 plus 90. So, minus 75 plus 90 degrees. So, I hope it's, uh, it's clear. I hope that it's clear there. Okay, so we, we proceed PQT equal to 180 degrees minus. Okay, so you are getting what? Uh, 165 degrees. So you add 75 degrees plus 90 degrees. That's when you are getting this 165 degrees. So from here, what are we going to do? We will say PQT equal to 180 degrees minus 165 degrees you are going to get what 15 degrees so it simply means that here here the angle is what 15 degrees at q so we have answered question what a now we go to question b all right so we are now uh let's answer question b they want you to find the length peak they want you to find the length PQ. Okay? So, how can you find the length PQ? So, look at this triangle. PTQ. So, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll come up with this. Uh, this is the triangle where we have T, we have P, then we have uh, a Q there. Not so. So, here we have an angle which is 75 degrees. Here we said 15 degrees. Then here we have a 90 not so. Then 
TQ, remember what we said, it's equal to MR, so it's also here 24 uh, kilometers. So they want you to find the PQ, the length of PQ. Now, PT, what is our PT? So we'll come back to this diagram. You can see you have MP, MP, MP. Then here we have T, which is the point here. Then, remember what I said, MTQR is a rectangle. So if you have from here to here, it's 6 kilometers. It also means that from here to here, it's 6 what, kilometers. But the full length from M to P, it's 13. So from here to here, if you have 6, what about from T to P? Okay? We are just going to say 13 minus what? 6. Not so. 13 minus 6. And you are going to have 7 what, kilometers. From T to P. So here it means you have 70 kilometers. Then to find PQ, this is the hypotenuse, the longest side of a right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is where the 90 degrees is pointing to. Not so. So we are going to use Pythagoras what? theorem to find PQ. So if you are finding uh, the hypotenuse, you are supposed to square to find the sum of the squares of the adjacent what? side. So in this case, it's going to be, we will say PQ, PQ squared is equal to, here we are going to say PT squared plus, we add, if you are finding this hypotenuse, but if you are finding one of the adjacent sides, we subtract from the hypotenuse. So PT squared plus TQ plus TQ squared, like that. So here you say PQ squared is equal to, PT, we have said 7, so it's 7 squared plus TQ, 24, 24 squared. So here we are going to say PQ squared is equal to, we have a 49, because 7 times 7. Alright, so here 49 plus 24 squared, it means 24 times 24, okay, which is going to give you, alright, I don't have enough space here, let me write here. Uh, PQ squared is equal to, so I have 49 plus 24 times 24, it's 576. So from there, we are going to say PQ squared is equal to uh, 49 plus 576. We are going to get 625, okay? So remember, on PQ, you have a square. So you have to get rid of this square by introducing what we call a square root. Even this side, a square root. So these two and the square root will cancel. We will say, therefore, PQ equal to, what is the square root of 625? You are getting a positive value, which is a 25. So in this case, we put in kilometers. So this is the length of PQ. We have answered that it's what, 25 kilometers. So this is how you can answer this question. Thank you so much everyone for having time to view this content. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are watching us on TikTok, ensure that you comment, you like, and you share the video. If it's on our Facebook page, don't forget to invite your friends so that they can come and learn with us. Bye-bye.